Hello, good day everyone. Welcome again to the channel. This is Paul from The Daily Dose and we have tons of updates once again for today. We even have some updates from LEGO and of course the usual stuff that we have and let's start with this first. Hot Wheels has a new mystery series coming soon. So here are the 10 cars in this. Of course with the uh, mystery series the first three cars are usually if not all the time licensed castings while the rest are fantasy casting so number one we have the 71 Dotson 510 we'll have uh yeah photos of that here thanks to ajib nobi for this yeah, it looks good as always with the Dotson 510 it's it's uh kind of lost a little hype uh honestly with hot wheels like bringing tons of new cars right now so uh, yeah i do like that move but again the Dotson 510 it's still a lovely casting number two 1998 subaru impreza right here i like this a lot especially like the decos just looks amazing like the artwork as you see here again amazing uh, and paired with like the black paint just adds Tons of contrast to the car. Love that a lot. Plus, yeah, and details uh, on the uh, headlights and that Subaru logo. And then uh, number uh, three, we have the Porsche 356 Outlaw. Uh, honestly, this is like uh, one of like the most unloved Porsche castings out there. There are just tons of uh, castings. Uh, from Porsche from Hot Wheels and They're really good. I mean all the Porsches. I think are fantastic because maybe I'm a huge Porsche fan But yeah, this Porsche 356 Outlaw. It's just one of the most Unloved. I don't know why next right here number four fast four-wheel drive or uh, four WD again unlicensed casting Number five, another one, Dunasaur. Yeah, their uh, version of probably like, like a dinosaur uh, car here with the artwork and the form factor. So Dunasaur, number five. Number six, we got the High Beam. Kind of looks like a Lotus Rally car, honestly, with this uh, fantasy casting. Number seven, Loop Coop. Number eight, we got the Muscle Speeder. Yeah, this uh, is fun on the tracks. Uh, we have played with this. Uh, it goes really fast. So I like that, honestly. Number nine, Rising Heat. Uh, check out that car, really. I don't know, man. Uh, it's like, uh, it, it looks weird with all the stuff right there. Number 10, we got the Time Tracker with a purple and green colorway. So Mystery Series here, this is the new one. Uh, got one thing to rant about the mystery series. I think this series is just one of those series that is getting worse and worse each release. Uh, yeah, Hot Wheels, I don't know. Yeah, they, they typically uh, make this worse and worse. I don't know why. Uh, if that is the case, maybe they should just uh, change it. And yeah, remember the ID series? I think they should uh, bring it back more than uh, the mystery series. Yeah, that is just my opinion. I uh, hope you understand that. And if you agree, leave a comment down below. Next right here, new mainline, the Volkswagen ID Buzz coming soon. Yeah, it is a, a futuristic looking bus. Uh, yeah details front and rear for this loving the details up front the front end if you have seen like the hyundai stalia their new van with that uh, also futuristic uh looking front end it even kind of looks like a robot or i don't know an air fryer <laughs> i just put a photo here yeah it has like a little resemblance uh to it uh, it looks good, honestly. I, I like the look. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks the same uh, with the ID Buzz. Uh, love like the three color right here. 
got the black top, the black ha half of the car here. The middle is white and the lower part is yellow. So love that combination. Kind of looks like the uh, like P P uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, color combination. On the rear, again, detailed. Love this a lot with the details. Tons of details. Even has side mirrors right there. And here's a new mainline uh, casting from them. The new uh, Trouble Decker Boss. I think this is new. Uh, Tomica has like a pretty, pretty much like almost similar looking bus. I forgot the name exactly. Again, I just put like a photo of it here. Uh, new main line. This is kind of neat. Uh, I think the windows though are all black, quite understandably so with this one. So, yeah. What do you think of this bus? Is this a fun little bus for you guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. And this one uh, was posted by CTZ Diecaster. Uh, thanks for this. So apparently there is like a card variant of the like 2023 Fast and Furious line with the uh, 20 Jeep Gladiator. So just some minor differences on the card as you see. If you can name the differences, leave a comment down below. So they're, they're pretty minor, but yeah, it's cool right there. Uh, more hunt for like the completionist out there personally for me um, Yeah, I didn't uh, pre-order this set because uh, Yeah, I think there's just too many fast and furious cars out there and I do have like the older uh, fast and furious uh, cars so But yeah, this is still pretty cool and new April's uh, pre-order announcement here from Tarmac Works. Check out the cars in here. A mix of like 164 scale and even like uh, 143 scale uh, for this. So let's start off first with the 143 scale cars. Uh, you see right there the Mercedes AMG and that is a, uh, a good looking car. The, yeah, GT3 right there. Tons of uh, artwork on that so that is uh, John Sibal Design Works and Tarmac Works collaboration next right here Tarmac Works Hello Kitty collaboration of the Audi R8 LMS GT3 this looks fantastic always love the always love me Hello Kitty yeah, who doesn't like Hello Kitty man come on next 164 scale also again same uh, for April uh, let's take a look at the cars here uh, from the Global 64 line, we got the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. That is cool. Uh, it has like the matte gray finish. It's, uh, it almost looks like a gray primer uh, look. So that is cool. That is cool. Uh, it got the chase car also included in this one. When I, when I first saw this photo, I was actually thinking if this was like the finished product. But I think it is. So that is cool. We don't see that a lot often. I'm kind of shocked uh, seeing this one. Next, yeah, Pagani Zonda Revolution right there. Orange and black combination. That looks lovely as usual. Next, how about this? Mercedes AMG F1. That is so cool. Yeah, loving that car a lot. This was driven by George Russell in the uh, Sakir Grand Prix way back uh, 2020. That is cool and check out the the tiny details on that man the the printing right now on like the 164 scale cars just insane it's just so it's just so cool what they can do with their the, the printing machine the printing tech that they have right now really digging that one I think that is my favorite in this wave uh, next Mazda RX-7 Mazda Speed A spec right here pretty much yeah, simple looking car, really basic looking with just silver paint, silver set of wheels. Uh, it looks lovely. That one has a chase car also. Then we got the Land Rover Defender 90 collaboration with Lamley Group. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, all the uh, Tarmac Works and Lamley Group collaboration cars just really neat. I love like how simple they are, but got tons of details. So loving this. Uh, car right here also man stuff to choose uh, which is the favorite one yeah, I'd pick this Land Rover Defender and 
The uh, Mercedes AMG F1 is my favorite in this wave. So really cool, man. 143 and 164 scale cars. Yeah, new ones from Tarmac Works. Uh, available for pre-orders and deadline for this. Um, I think 10 more days. Uh, since uh, kind of late uh, updating you guys with this one. So yeah, that is uh, our uh, news for today. I hope you enjoy this. Leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. More than half aren't subscribed. So again, please subscribe. That would really help the channel out a lot. Uh, also, click the bell icon so you won't miss our future uploads. Thank you for watching. Have a blast and God bless. Bye-bye.